what's up gamers the red dragon here and we are checking out sony vegas pro 12. so this is the latest installment of the sony vegas editing software uh, so what i thought i'd do is walk you through kind of show you the newest features in 12. so if you're on the fence about maybe uh, upgrading or, or buying this or not hopefully by the end of this i'll give you some reasons to do so or to not do so so let's get into first what is brand new in Sony Vegas 12. The first thing you may not notice is that there's not a new look to Sony Vegas 12. It looks exactly like the previous versions, so I, I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually enjoy that. I'm glad that they're not switching it up, making me learn something brand new like Windows. So there is a few things that are minor, that are tweaked as far as the, the visuals go. The first thing I'll do is I'll import a new uh, clip. I'll uh, and you'll notice that there's an outer like ring that lets you know what you've got selected so it just makes it a little bit more visually appealing uh, and easier to know what you've got highlighted uh, the same thing goes for the project media up top it just looks a little bit cleaner and nicer than the previous versions of Sony Vegas 11 uh, one thing that's really nice about this is the organization uh, it is still great with uh, Sony Vegas if you're into that you can add tags to different files uh, and it'll automatically set up the folder system for you the Explorer tab set up like a file system on your computer so easy to go back and forth and really get yourself organized if you're into that uh, me personally I am NOT an organized person at all I keep everything on my desktop so uh, I, I just import it from there usually uh, is the way I work but if you're into organization that'll definitely help you out uh, another thing that is really big about Vegas 12 that a lot of you will enjoy especially if you're serious video editors uh, is now you can export Vegas files into Final Cut uh, or After Effects and you can keep your projects together. You can export files into different formats. You can also import those same formats and keep the project together. So if you're a serious video editor, which I know a lot of people out there are, uh, this has been one complaint that it was so hard to keep uh, projects together. Uh, Vegas has now made it extremely easy to do all of that. So definitely a big upgrade as far as that category is concerned. Now, one thing that I, I did find that was very pleasing to the eye is, let me get over here, let's get a solid color, let's get white, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the newest features of the text. So, Sony Vegas Pro 12, they still have the uh, Pro Type Titler, which is really good and makes your text look a lot more professional than the, uh, than the standard uh, text plugins. What we're going to do is let's pull this up, uh, make it where we can see what we're actually dealing with. And what, I, I don't like orange, so we're going to go with green. So this uh, Pro Type Titler, it, it allows you to do different things. You can add uh, a drop shadow and all that, but Sony Vegas Pro 12 has a new feature in the video effects called, not that, it's called Layer Dimensionality. And you'll notice that there's a lot of different settings. There's drop shadow with dark glow, uh, dark shadow with uh, downlight, embossing. Let's throw the embossing on here. And you'll, you'll see that it just makes the text really pop. And there's so many different uh, features that you can go through here and play with. Uh, there's emboss, glow, shadow. And then you can sit there and play with all of this and uh, really get your text exactly how you want it and it doesn't take long before you're tweaking stuff and uh, just things look like they were professionally made uh, so instead of having to do it in other programs and then uh, bring it over uh, Sony Vegas 12 now has a powerful tool that allows you to do uh, really cool text inside uh, Sony Vegas 12 another thing that I really enjoy uh, about 12 that's a new feature as far as uh, transitions and stuff like that goes or uh, I guess video effects is they they have this lab adjustment which th that's dealing with uh, colors and stuff like that but let me tell you what I really like uh, let me get that off there what I really like is this 
thing called color match. So this is a feature that's in a lot of different Photoshop programs. You can take a color with a certain film or look to it and apply it to different uh, videos or, or to different photos. But now with color match, you'll actually be able to do that with your videos. So I think this can come in really handy with people making montages. Let me show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to pull up my wife's Flickr account. Uh, this is her page. I'll link it in the description box if you want to go uh, check out photos. She's into photos. I'm into videos. Uh, so she's got a whole lot on here. So let's uh, pull out a, a picture to copy. We're going to grab this one right here. And we'll also uh, grab this one up top. And we're going to try to filter uh, the look of our video to make it look like those images. Uh, so what we're going to do is simply go and import need to go to project media we're going to import our first image and then once we find it what we'll do is we'll hit open and trimmer uh, and there there's our image right here that we're going to try to color match so what we're going to do is now go over to video effects and just drop that down on top and you'll notice that nothing changed but don't worry uh, down here at image source you have to tell it what to match it to so what we're going to do is use trimmer image because uh, we have one located in there. If you didn't have one in the trimmer, you could also paste from the clipboard or browse for an image on your computer or clip it from the screen. But we've got one in the trimmer, so we're going to go ahead and apply that. And you'll notice that now the look and feel is just like our image. So again, I think this would work out really well for people making montages. You've got a cool film or filter you want to put on certain uh, images, then you can definitely do that. Uh, I'll go through here. I'll show you once again how that works. Go over Project Media. I'll bring in this other photo. We'll open it in the trimmer. Go over to Video Effects. And uh, same thing. We're going to pull and that there we go there's the right one um, and you will get to see that it does put that same sort of filter on the video and from there you can go in and edit it to get it matching just right just how you want that so that's another really cool feature inside Sony Vegas 12 those are probably the biggest things for me that I've really found that I've really used. Uh, there's also plenty of other stuff though if you're really getting into it a whole lot deeper uh, like there's different file formats that you can import uh, from video cameras and things like that. There's also some new editing formats that you can use. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go check all those out uh, if you want to. Uh, I'll also show you my render settings for what I've got and um, it really hasn't changed from Sony Vegas 11. I'm still doing uh, 1080. I've got 30 frames. Uh, I am using the graphics card in order to uh, render, so that is available on Vegas 12. Uh, audio set up pretty much the same. MP4. And there you can go to see if, if your computer allows you to do that to where you can use uh, CUDA or the if you have to use the CPU. Uh, if you're not able to and then the render settings the project is best and so I'm just going to go ahead and start this so you can kind of get an idea as to uh, how fast this really goes to me Sony Vegas 12 the biggest change besides what I've just showed you has definitely been the speed which for me earlier I was using uh, Sony Vegas 11 and it was 32 bit this one is 64 bit and uh, I can definitely tell an increase in speed so um, I I'm not sure as far as Vegas 11 goes if you had a 64 bit Sony Vegas 11 if it's as fast as this is uh, but for me I notice probably at least twice as fast rendering on Vegas 12 compared to my 32-bit uh, Sony Vegas 11. Uh, so that for me was definitely worth it for the upgrade. You'll see that we have like a little over a, a four-minute clip here and uh, it's nearing near seven and I probably could have done some things to make this even easier on the system. I could have um, not had it rendering at, at best full uh, and I could have probably also lowered this image uh, that helps out a little bit and also keep in mind that I'm also Recording all this my voice and stuff. So a lot of stuff's running in the background, but still pretty good time um, Let's say what eight nine minutes uh, to render that clip and if this would have been my old system 
I probably would have at least had uh, 18 to 20 minutes on render time. So definitely Vegas 12, uh, it's got some nice things about it. It's not a, a total remake, uh, not a total um, redo over, but there's some nice features there, uh, especially if you're upgrading and you're worried about speed and performance. Uh, this also seems a lot more stable. Uh, whenever I have a lot of stuff rendering up here, whether it's a lot of transitions or different um, text that's popping in and out, uh, Sony Vegas 12, so far I haven't had any problems with it, me with it crashing on me or anything of that nature. I'll say that uh, using Sony Vegas 12, the reason I've used it is because I pretty much taught myself how to use it using YouTube tutorials. Uh, so I just sat down, I watched for a few days how people did certain things. If I wanted to know how to do something, I just went and searched it up and uh, and I ended up teaching myself. So I don't think it's a very hard system to learn if you're getting into video editing. I think it's a great system, it's reliable, it's fast, and you can do a lot with it. Uh, so if you guys would like for me to do some Sony Vegas tutorials, uh, definitely let me know kind of what response I would have if I invested the time in order to do that. I would like to know, and if we have a big enough response, then I'll definitely be willing uh, to do some uh, tutorials going in depth on, on ways to edit and grow your YouTube channel if you're interested in something like that. So that does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.